This is Will with Cigar Coop. Uh, I'm here at the 2012 IPCPR trade show. I'm here with Dan Tiant of the Tiant Cigar Group, and Dan's been kind enough to take some time uh, to talk a little about his uh, company, his products, and a whole lot more. So, Dan, thanks for taking some time. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Okay. So, Dan, um, tell us a little about Tiant Cigar Group. Well, Tiant Cigar Group is, um, is a new company that started last year. I've been in business for five. We used to, well, formerly known as El Tiante Cigars, but uh, we formed a new LLC last year called Tiante Cigar Group. Uh, it's been doing pretty well for us. We got into the market in October, went to last year's trade show just to walk around, get a feel for it. And uh, within that time frame, we're already in about uh, 100, 150 stores. So it's been doing really well for us. Excellent, excellent. So tell us, uh, you have right now, you offer two blends in the uh, El Tiante line? Yep, that's correct. The, uh, we have the Habano Rosado and the Habano Oscuro, and I'll actually let me grab the boxes real quick. You guys can take a look. Our cigars are made at the uh, My Father factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. We have the uh, lighter shaped box, which is the Habano Rosado. It's an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, Nicaragua filler binder, medium to full. It's got a lot of the uh, traditional pepin uh, spices to it, but it, it's a complex cigar. It mellows out to a nice, sweet, creamy finish from the uh, Rosado wrapper. The darker shade box here is the Habano Oscuro. It's an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper as well, Oscuro shade, Nicaraguan filler and binder. We label it medium to full, but it is more of a three quarters to full quality cigar. Um, some spice to it, like the uh, Rosado, but it's a little more subtle, a little bit more, it's more richer, and uh, as far as strength goes, again, that's also something that's pretty subtle, it uh, sneaks up on you. Excellent, excellent. So how did you guys come to work with uh, the Garcia family? So we built a relationship with them. Um, I originally met them through Pete Johnson, uh, who's a good friend of mine, and uh, just throughout the years and the shows, uh, coming to them, uh, we, we developed a nice friendship, a nice relationship. Pepin himself and my dad uh, have uh, a great respect for each other, both being old-time Cuban guys, and they both have the love for cigars and also a love for baseball. And that's really how we started getting to know each other. And uh, within the years, we decided that uh, they wanted to work with us and we wanted to work with them. Excellent. And you took your uh, dad, Louis Tion, to the trade show today? No, I did. I did. Is he having a good show? He's having a good show. But see, I... Excellent. Excellent. Uh, a true Hall of Famer in my book. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. Um, so, tell us a little, you know, Dan, you, you definitely have a pulse on the cigar industry. You, you've come in, you are a true cigar maker. Um, tell me what you, uh, your perspectives as far as the industry goes right now. Well, what I'm seeing here at the show... And I'm seeing it a lot with social media, Twitter, Facebook. Um, you're seeing a lot of cigar companies coming out, uh, which you know it's a good thing. It, you know, you're seeing that a lot of people um, are coming out, enjoying more cigars. They're more open-minded. I think they're, they're trying a lot of the boutique brands, seeing what's out there, what's new. And there's a lot of good cigars on the market. It's not really just uh, the bigger guys, but you're seeing a lot of the smaller cigar companies that are making a name for themselves as well. You know, we, we, we owe that to uh, social media, you know, as far as bloggers, uh, the, the, the shows that are out there, you know, Coop, you do a great job, so it, 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 it helps It helps a lot, it really does. Excellent, excellent. Um, can we expect to see anything else from uh, Tian Cigar Group in the uh, next 12 months? Absolutely. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're working on two new blends. Uh, we were hoping to have them for the show. But Jaime and I were not happy. I'm not saying that we were happy. We weren't happy with the final blend. We needed a little, a little tweaking to do to it. And uh, within the 12 months, you definitely will see some more stuff coming out of our, uh, coming out for El Tiante. Excellent. So we're, it's Dan Tiant of the uh, Tiant Cigar Group. A, uh, like I said, Dan has really uh, become a true cigar maker, and really, uh, um, I think we're going to see a lot more great things from these folks. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thanks.